What's up, everyone? Tara Roberts here with Win Daily, and we are talking NFL player props for underdog for week four. Last week was a hit outside of one pick. Zay Flowers, just one yard, just one yard off, missed it by one yard. Hit on everything else. Overall, good week, though. Two good weeks in a row. Let's see if we can keep it going. Before I dive in, like this video and subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, check out the description below for a link to sign up to play on Underdog. 100% deposit match up to $100. All right, let's dive into the props. I'm gonna do something a bit different this week and uh, start with one game in particular and really focus in on that. Now, the game is Miami versus the Bills, starting off with Josh Allen. His props are very interesting this week. His passing yards line is at 269 and a half. I think the volume will be there in terms of attempts, but that yardage, it just feels, it feels a bit aggressive. I feel like it's positioned to lean into the idea that Buffalo versus Miami will be a shootout and Buffalo will need to push high volume to keep up with Miami's offense off of that insane 70 point game. But Buffalo's defense is really good, and they're coming off an insane performance of their own. This game could look more like Miami versus New England in Week 2. Buffalo obviously has a better offense, but conceptually, this might not be a very high yardage game for Josh Allen. It could, but I don't know if I want to take that chance. So I am avoiding the pass yardage for Allen because that could go either way. But in a more competitive game, he might feel more compelled to use his legs more than he did last week. So it is the over on rushing yards at 34 and a half that I am more inclined to use. But that is not the only rushing yards that I am interested in. James Cook at 55 and a half. Very intriguing. Of the three games that Cook has played, only... The only game where he didn't exceed that total was in week one against the New York Jets. In week two, he had 123 rushing yards. In week three, he had 98 rushing yards. This almost feels like a trap. In my opinion, the lumber is low because Miami's run defense actually hasn't been that bad for the past two weeks. They allowed a massive week to Austin Eckler and Josh Kelly in week one. But after that, things settled down a little bit and they faced much softer rushing attacks but I believe Cook will have a solid game and I like the over for him. I also like the over on his rushing plus receiving yards line at 77 and a half. If you're looking to mix and match picks or maybe you just feel a little bit uncomfortable with the rushing yards, go ahead and use that one. We'll pull one more from Buffalo. Stefan Diggs over six and a half receptions. This doesn't need a ton of justifications because it's Stefan Diggs. He could see stiff competition because Miami does have talent in their secondary, but I am comfortable with him being the primary target for Josh Allen. In this game, I like the over on his receptions. Okay, let's talk about some picks outside of the Bills game. Joe Burrow. I would love to target the Cincinnati game, but Joe Burrow's numbers aren't up yet as of the filming of this video because likely because he's dealing with an injury, but he seems to be good and on track. So if it pops up, you can look at that. I just don't have the numbers yet. But last week, Burrow had yet another dreadful performance. But this matchup is ideal. I would be interested in going in the over on his passing yards if I knew what it was. But since I don't, we are going to look at T. Higgins receiving yards at 58 and a half. Coming off of the big game for Jamar Chase, he is at 81 and a half, understandably far higher. Chase was coming off of two games with just five receptions in each game. Bad performances, underwhelming, and when you see a big-time receiver getting that kind of usage, you have to expect that the quarterback is going to focus in on that big name. So that's what happened last week. We saw it with A.J. Brown, too, and T. Higgins was left out in the cold. But against this Titans defense, I don't think anybody is going to be left out in the cold. So the Titans defense, let's talk about it real quick. Um, they're horrific against the pass. They have allowed the fifth most passing yards to opposing teams. And that's saying a lot because two of the teams they faced, they don't exactly have prolific offenses. This is a great bounce back opportunity for Joe Burrow. We saw it last week with Deshaun Watson, one of those not prolific offenses I was talking about, and his receivers all benefited. T. Higgins, fine, fine pick for the over there. 
And on the opposing end, we're keeping it in the game here for Cincinnati. On the opposing end, the Titans have allowed a league low 2.6 rushing yards per attempt. The under on Joe Mixon at 52 and a half rushing yards is very appealing to me. Now, Mixon has exceeded that total in every single game, so it might feel a little scary. And he's the only back that Cincinnati uses. That said, I genuinely believe that this is a Joe Burrow get right game and Mixon could still see value through his receiving work. But in terms of the rushing yardage, I will take the under on those rush yards all day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, remember to sign up to play on Underdog today. The link is below in the description. 100% deposit match up to $100.